it's always a sad feeling that we have when a judge and especially the chief justice of india with whom we have had a very close relationship for the past 8 years when you were elevated to the supreme court of india is due to retire and to me it's difficult to reconcile myself to the feeling that the young and dapper person who is sitting there is now going to retire fully from the judiciary without at a very very young age but i won't repeat what i have been saying earlier because it will look like a gramophone with its needle stuck that this is not the age at which our judges of the supreme court should retire and that's not the age at which the judges of the high court should also retire but anyway that's not within my control i can only repeat the same thing but what is outstanding so far as chief justice ramana is concerned is the persuasion with which he was able to clear the areas as of the appointment the vacancies and uh, i understand that uh, more than 200 this meeting is being recorded vacancies were filled up in the high court i think it's a herculean task which was done more than 100 per, uh, members were appointed to the tribunal all on account of and i was at the receiving and from time to time and now it is found that these vacancies were not being filled up and had to communicate your lordship's hire as it were uh, to the government and uh, it succeeded to a very, very great extent and uh, for the first time we have had the full court of 34 judges sitting at one time itself and this i think is a remarkable achievement for the purpose of the progress of uh, the judiciary and the disposal of cases your lot ships biological family is sitting alone on this side but your lot be a karta of a larger family which is not on this side but <laughs> on behalf of the learned attorney general and on my behalf i thank your lot ships to be for being an excellent karta blood of our uh, family members the larger family your lot ships would really be missed i am indeed 50 years in the supreme court this year and i have seen many chief justices come many chief justices go and the learned solicitor mentioned about your biological family and the family at this side but there's another family that you take care of that's on that side the family of judges you have taken care of that family very well and i tell you why when the sea is calm the ship will sail but we go through we are going through very turbulent times and it is difficult for the ship to sail it is there that this court will remember you for having maintained that balance even in turbulent times may i take this opportunity your lordships to thank your lordships especially from the ladies from the bar your lordships <clears throat> lordships inclusive policies have been path breaking and in fact they have brought us uh, members of the bench who are outstanding well deserving for a very very long time and that trend obviously has to continue like justice Gen uh, ginsburg had said that there should be there should be a time when it should no longer be a celebration to invite a woman onto the bench maybe 100% women can be constituting benches of the supreme court 